Welcome back to another Ifish Night video. This could be the intro of a a a set of videos that I'm gonna be making when I do Gundam model kits or model kits in general. So uh, this is just my my setup. Uh, this could be a work in progress kind of video uh, before the reviews of any Gundam model kits that I have uh, haven't that I haven't built. So quick run through what my setup is. My manuals right here and then. Like I said, my manual is right here, and I'm watching. I uh, always on a Twitch stream on the side right here. Uh, so I'm watching an Eternal Enigmas, a uh, Silent Silence Hill Origin uh, complete playthrough, uh, and also uh, I've got the uh, weapon plates here. So which is K, J, and D. These are the weapon plates with some of the torso parts. Uh, the duplicate plates, the uh, duplicate runners. Sorry. So A, C, and E. These are the the runners that have duplicates of it, two each. And I have the rest of the miscellaneous items or parts, which consist of the the back armors, the, the shoulders, the torso. The, I think some parts of the torso, some parts of the armor, and the legs plus the body cap so th this kit the invisible victory version of the M9 guns back it's a very simple kit uh, it's a it's very high grade style because um, the number of runners they have it's very synonymous to the high grade quality or high grade number of uh, runners that we have right now so and also include inclusively including the additionally the the manual has very uh, little number of pages, so uh, it's good for for new, uh, for like collectors or for uh, model kit makers of different series, you know, builders of different series. Uh, the cutter I'm using is the Tamiya cutter, the side cutter, sharp pointed. Uh, I've been using this for years already. I think three, four, five years. Five six years, um, still going strong. Mostly because I stopped uh, hobby making, uh, crafting, or whatever uh, building model kits thing, and because I've been collecting other uh, stuff as well, like Robert Damash, his SH figure arts and uh, other figures. So this is my setup. I will, when I'm done, I will uh, go on like. Uh, I'm gonna be building the body first, then the head and the arm. So when I'm done, I'm gonna show you uh, how it looks like for each part. So see ya then. So I'm back again. I'm now done with the torso. Uh, articulation will be done in the review, but right now there are polyclap joints for the the arms, the elbow connections, and the head uh, plus the torso. Um, nothing much else to say, so let's keep going. I'm back and I've already put the stickers on for the head, which I've already completed the assembly. Uh, so yellow stickers are there, the green stickers are there, like so. And the head is done. And when checking the manual, it's it's Curse Weber's uh, Gurn's back. They, they call it Curls Webber's Gurns Back, but there are other, I'm sure there are other units in the in Mithril that have uh, utilized Gurns Backs before. Uh, so uh, the, the pack, oh, shit. The ball joints right here, and there's like a cavity right here, there's a hole there, and you can connect the two together. So the head. And the torso is complete. Looking pretty good right now. To get in more time for the video, the work in progress video, I've got the arms complete, the lower part of the arms, um, the, the biceps, and the forearm. The assembly is pretty cool, pretty easy, pretty simple, and the details on here are pretty cool as well. So to continue on to the shoulders and the fists. Alright, so I'm done with the pretty much the upper body. I'm leaving the fists uh, for later when I'm done completing the weapons. And still got so much more left to do. But yeah, the upper body looks really detailed. 
the heels on the shoulders, the, the arms, the face, the, the torso, it's all there. So uh, I'll be on my way to the legs now. So see you all there. Alright, so right I have right now is the uh, feet and leg sections unassembled for right now. So, and they normally consist of the ACE and the F plates. So the F runners, those ACE F runners. So uh, I am not complete yet. But, and now I'm done with the feet and the lower legs the shins and there's polycaps for the joints as well but except for the feet joints and the feet I must say it looks pretty small and I'm, I'm kind of scared for the stability of this uh, the, the sturdiness on the ground or the I don't know what's it called uh, how easily it is to stay on the ground for this figure so uh, I'm done with this uh, now I'm time to move on to the upper legs and the hips <clears throat> Hello, uh, I've already completed the right and left upper legs and I'm just going to fit them in and after uh, completion of the legs I'll have to build, have to start building the uh, torso or rather the hip portion so I can connect the legs to the torso so and as you can see really nicely detailed as well that's my favorite phrase, phrase really nicely detailed and there's a sticker right here so uh, just follow the grooves and the, the contours and you're done so as you can see I'm done with this already so let's get on with the hip parts right so um, these are the parts for the waist units and I'm gonna fix it all up and I'll show you the result later. Alright, so I'm done with the waist portion. Now there's a stick on the front, so be careful with that. And just plug in the legs. Like so. Ooh. Careful of that. And the ball joint will connect to the hole at the bottom of the torso. and you're pretty much done for the main body pretty cool looking toy with the main body and here are the parts for the weapons so these are pretty simple to, to put it's just a matter of putting two pieces together just joining them up and when I'm done I'll get back to you uh, for example, the for this gun, the the wap, the GECB forty millimeter rifle. Sorry for the jump cut because there was there's still noise, but uh, you just take two pieces and then you put it them um, put them together, and for the uh, barrel, uh, I believe that's what that's what it is called. Uh, there's a separate piece that is fitted to the 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 front right here. So just be careful of that. Don't lose it. Uh, you'll mess up. Alright, so next, the gun's back also comes with the monomolecular cutter which fits in the sheath pretty easily and a anti-dank tank uh, dagger. And now the weapons are complete with a pack connector. So, uh, now I'm done with the M9 Gurns back version Invisible Victory. So uh, tune in again for the review of this guy uh, later on maybe in the week or so. Thank you for watching, like, fave, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to see more stuff, if you want to tune in, you can check out my old stuff, my Evangelion reviews as well, and tune in for this guy. So thank you for watching, have a good day, see ya.